Hey guys, I'm Maniac. And I am Pineapple. Today, we are going to be talking about We Were Here Together and We Were Here Forever. And to start off, we are going to talk about the fun factor in both games. I'll pass it to Maniac. Alright, the fun factor is definitely there. The two games, Together and Forever, they're very similar to the first two games, which we did a review on. And for people that like puzzle solving games, they're definitely a solid choice to play. So if you have a girlfriend or another friend or a butt buddy or something, then we were here together and we were here forever are definitely solid choices. And I'll give the fun factor a 4 out of 5. So I'll pass it over to Pineapple and talk about the graphics. Fantastic. So the graphics for uh, We Were Here Together and We Were Here Forever have obviously increased since the first two. The fourth one being the most noticeable with the, the best uh, enhanced graphics. Like we said in our other video, we don't have really anything bad to say about the graphics. These developers did a really great job at, you know, making sure there's plenty of color, making sure that the areas that were supposed to be dark were actually dark. You know, just a beautiful job by them. And I wholeheartedly say the graphics deserves a solid 4 out of 5. So on that note, I'm going to pass it over to Maniac for the gameplay, and let's hear what he has to say. Alright, the gameplay is basically the same, it's just very simplistic, and for Together and Forever, they added a running, instead of We Were Here and We Were Here Too, they didn't have a running feature, but in Together and Forever they added it, which I like, and they still are very consistent on really not presenting the puzzle to you or giving you any hints on what it is. It's more or less you just go into a room and you have to figure out what to figure out to get to the next room. But the big difference I liked in Together and Forever is that you actually started out together. No pun intended. You're literally in the same area, you can run to each other, you can hug, and I think in We Were Here Forever is that you could actually do emotes, like in shake hands or high five or whatever, so that was a, a neat feature they added in. But the frustration was still there, and from the beginning they made the puzzles easy, and then, you know, just like progressing through the game they made them more difficult to the point where like you really like racking your brain to try and figure out what to do but i will give the gameplay just for the frustration of them not presenting anything a three out of five and i'll pass it over to pineapple to talk about the way the game's set up fantastic the setup for both We Were Here Together and We Were Here Forever are very well identical. They didn't really change much, although I believe it was in We Were Here Together that they finally added the sprinting option, which was nice, and they had that also in We Were Here Forever. The controls for it are very easy. They kept it very simplistic through all four games, which is something that we truly enjoyed, uh, was the simplicity of learning controls, and also the fact that not all the, the buttons on the controller were actually used. They kept it very minimalistic, which was nice for being able to easily learn how to play the game and enjoy the game. So for that reason, we gave it a total score of 4 out of 5, you know, just because they've carried pretty much the same control scheme through all four games, with some slight variations, but nothing uncomprehensible. So we will move to the last ability. And I'll talk a little bit about the last ability and pass it over to Pineapple to talk about it for a little bit. But the last ability, it's there just for the people that want to get achievements so you play both sides. And at least for me, the main thing that got me was that like it really felt like a PC game. 
and I give them credit for bringing it to the systems, but it really felt like just a computer game with the lack of controls and the buttons not doing everything like Pineapple said, and just the frustration of them really not presenting anything further into the game. And just for that, I'll give The Last Ability a 3.5 out of 5, not to say I didn't enjoy the game. We Were Here Forever was definitely the most fun I had out of all of the We Were Here games. So, I'll pass it over to Pineapple to elaborate a little bit more on The Last Ability. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree with you, Maniac. Last ability being a three and a half out of five. Some of the puzzles of the last one were frustrating, but what was nice was it started off easy and gradually got harder. But yeah, it's definitely one of those games I will be more than glad to always replay. Just not right away because some of those puzzles really hurt the brain. And we did find out recently that they did come out with a fifth one. It's called uh, We Were Here Expeditions. Friendship. So we will be taking a look at that and once we play that and hopefully enjoy it like we have the other four, you know, I don't see why not. This game developer has been doing a fantastic job. We will be bringing a video out on it. So the last ability could definitely have been a little higher, especially because they have come out with four really awesome games and, you know, we're hoping we're going to enjoy the fifth one just as much. Yeah, like I said, it's not that I didn't enjoy it, it's just the frustration was there into the game. I mean, it made us quit the game for a couple months and then come back to it, so it was there. But, on that note, I will wrap the video up and hope you guys enjoyed it. And now check out our channel or the two links above us. I'm Maniac. And I'm Pineapple. Together we are the Tasmanian Knights. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and also check out our Patreon page. Catch you guys next time.